How y'all doing, buddy Isaacs again? Again. And uh, I've been trying to make this thing go for a few minutes here. I'm going to tell y'all something before I get into my video. I'm going to walk right down here, right down this path here. And we're going to just walk down here for a second. Y'all see anything? Anything right there in front of my leg? Y'all see this? This is my peanut butter jar lid. And again, my peanut butter has disappeared. The whole jar of peanut butter. Take the lid off. At least it did leave the lid this time. Last time it took lid now. This time the lid's gone. There are the lids here. Peanut butter jar's gone. I don't understand it. And you see this tree right here? I've moved that three times. There's a path going down through there. Every time that thing gets bent back over across, and this time it's wedged in behind this other tree right here. See that? And uh, it's like something saying, don't come down in here no more. But uh, I don't know. I don't understand it. This is the second peanut butter jar that's disappeared. At least it left the lid this time. And I've inspected the lid. And I can't see any, you know, teeth marks or anything like that. I, I just, I don't understand it. I don't get it. Now, let me see if I can get this. Ow. My ankle's been hurting pretty bad. I woke up the other day, had a had a Charlie horse in my leg. You know how that is. And uh, my ankle ain't been the same since. I ate a spider web about a minute ago. Let me see if I can get this thing set up here. To where I don't stop my video this time. Stop my video where I go. I was pretty mad about it. It is what it is. Ah, anyway. How's everybody been doing? Pretty good, I hope. I just thought I'd come out here and just have a seat. I'm out here in the middle of the woods. I'm a little clearing out here. Got a nice little clearing out here in the woods. Got it cleaned up pretty good. Got a few solar lights out. It don't look too bad. It's a walk to get down here though, man. But I got it set up pretty good. I got my, I got my little, my little shelter there. Got me a little table fixed up here. Got my chairs. And uh, I just come out here and sit and chill out. I'm gonna come out here one of these. I'm gonna try to find me a blind to put up across through here, and I'm gonna sit about a day, maybe all night one time, see if I can figure out what's going on with my peanut butter jars. But anyway, I just come off vacation. Been on vacation about eleven days. Man, I'll tell you what. You talking about enjoying it? The only point I didn't enjoy was about three hours ago. I got stung right there with a big red wasp. It got tangled up in my hair. But so. But, you know, getting ready to change that, I'm getting ready to cut my hair off. Now, I don't know what y'all think about that, but it's so hot. But, I mean, we had a heat wave there about two weeks ago. I'm telling you what, I was about ready to shave it. But I'm going to cut my hair off. It ain't been cut in about two years. It don't grow like it used to. You know, when you get older, everything just, it all goes from up here to on the sides and in the back. So, you know, I'm partially bald. I didn't know what that was for a minute. But, yeah, we've been hearing all kinds of stuff down in here like, Oh, man, look at that. I got tin foil. You know what's under this tin foil? Coffee. Mm. Oh, man. I had a thermos bottle. But instead of putting my coffee in a thermos bottle, I wrap it up in tin foil. Pretty smart. I ain't build me a little, oh, this winter, this winter I'm gonna make me a little fire pit down here and we're gonna, when there ain't no danger in fire getting out and stuff, I'm gonna build me a fire down here and we're gonna start doing some outdoor cooking. I'm gonna show y'all how to fix some stuff that you wouldn't believe. And uh, I can make, okay, I don't know if y'all like tuna casserole or not. Some of you's probably going, oh Lord God, no, I don't, let me tell you what. I got something that I can make that tastes just like tuna casserole. I can make it in less than 20 minutes. I'll show y'all how to do that. We'll fix some ramen noodles. We'll fix some kicked up chili dogs. And, uh, you know, I don't want to, if I say any, uh, I, I try to come up with the names for these foods for myself. And I'm sure somebody's already come up with it. So, you know, I don't want to get in trouble for that and get copyrighted or nothing. I don't wish I know what got my, well, let's forget about the peanut butter jar. Let's just talk about my vacation. Uh, well, we went to the Jackson County Fair, and we went down there, and we was going to do a, 
we was going to go down there and ride the bull, but of course the mechanical bull is exactly what it says. It's mechanical. And it had a mechanical breakdown at the time, so I didn't get to do the mechanical bull. I had a pretty good concert. Mm. Yeah. I was situated right under the speaker, right on the rail. Right, I mean, right on the rail. And uh, right at the stage. I could reach out and touch the stage. My daughter actually caught a guitar pick. Yeah, I flicked it. And uh, it bounced off my head and hit her ankle. She reached down and picked it up. Which now, I went to their concerts before. I've been to three of them now. And uh, they're pretty good. And uh, I caught a guitar pick twice. And uh, one I give away. And the other one, the first one I kept for myself. So I think it's pretty cool. I've been front row for three years in a row. I've been front row. Oh, you can't beat being under one of these big old giant speakers hanging right over your head. Can't hear it for two days after the concert's over. Oh, man, let me tell you something. But anyway, I love my music. Got another concert I'm going to here in about three weeks. Looking forward to that one, too. Hopefully I can get front row for that one, but I doubt it. And, uh. Yeah, I've had a pretty good vacation. Wasper stung me right there on the side of the head this morning. Other than that, one of the big reds too hit about that long. They probably wasn't that long, but it got tangled up in my hair. I told y'all that. That's why I'm gonna cut my hair off. Listen, hear that whistling? Yep, right back over in there, out towards that old graveyard, that old Indian burial ground or whatever. I'm telling you, stuff happens down in here all the time. I get lucky enough to catch it on camera, and people's like, <laughs> yeah, they catch you so much stuff on camera, it's all fake. No, nah, it ain't. Y'all believe what you want. Oh, man. That's a mosquito the size of a 747. Y'all see it? But, uh, yeah, my daughter, she bought this new game called Bean Boozled, I think it is. And uh, she brought that in there. And you got some of these beans that taste like... I don't know, pomegranate and cheesecake, you know, stuff that, that tastes really good. And then there's some of them that taste like stank bug, what else was it, dish water. Uh, I did all kinds of them. And you spin this little spinner, and you pick whatever that corresponding bean is it lands on. Beans look just a lot. One of them tastes good, one of them tastes bad. So she said, okay, Dad. She said, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to play 30 rounds on Mario Party. Let's do this. The loser of each minigame, between me, her, and her brother, my son, the loser gets the bean. Gets to spin the spinner. I think I lost about 18 games. And I think every single one I got was the bad one. I had the worst taste in my mouth for two days. Okay, And we played this three days in a row. Okay. Now, yesterday, I done pretty good yesterday. I actually survived. Every one I got except one was good, and it had to be the last one, too, you know. But, uh, yeah, you want to you wanna kick it up like that. I see a bush moving over the hill. We won't pay no attention to that. So you want to kick it up a little bit like if you're playing stuff like that. Put a little you know, excitement into it. We, you know, we've used candy cane. There's some kind of candy cane that comes out around Christmas. It's some kind of game almost like that. And they is a cheese flavor. Let me tell you something. It has to be Limburger. That is the worst tasting. Oh. When you attempt to eat one of them, it will take you out. Okay, you don't want nothing to eat for three days. You want to lose weight, eat one of them. But, I mean, they do it right. But now the ones that ain't bad are good. Of course. Oh, man. Let's see, what else was it? Bear. Been a bear around here, and uh, I've been looking for signs of it because I know it's been down here. Something actually removed my trash lid about two weeks ago, took my trash out of the bin and set it on the ground and proceeded to rip it apart. Now, I don't think it was uh, I don't think it was a raccoon or anything like that. I mean, how's something going to pick a big trash bag up out of the bin and set it down there beside of it and then decide to go through it? I don't know. Mm. Oh, man. But, yeah. I like my little new spot I've got down here. Oh, it's so private. All I can hear is, 
way over on that other mountain. I hear a lawnmower right now. Last... Y'all hear that? It's just private. Oh, man, I love it. Hey, what else did we do this week? I didn't do much. I mean, I just, I was going to mow my yard, and I said, no, nah, yeah, I ain't doing that. And uh, I was going to do a lot of stuff that I didn't do. I was going to paint. I didn't get to paint. So, hey, you know how it is. You know how it is. You're on vacation, you don't want to do nothing. I did do a few things. But... Hmm. There's a mosquito. I'll tell you what, you cannot leave one piece of skin exposed. I got a little hole in my pants. One little piece of skin exposed, and the mosquitoes are listening. It's just like a dartboard, son. You look down there, four or five sticking right in your skin. Man, they got them crazy straws and stuff, you know, I'm telling you. They bad. But, yeah, I thought I'd take a different approach on my video. They just actually come down here and just sit down and just talk, you know. I, I ain't done that in a long time. And just kind of chill out. Uh, it's 91 degrees right now at like 6 o'clock now. Time is, look at the sun. It looks like it's about six, seventeen, and uh, it's too hot to be climbing up and down these mountains today. And I think it's supposed to cool off the next week or this week actually. And uh, there was somebody, you know, sent me a message the other day. Said, "Hey man, you come back to work. Make sure you come back at, you know, come back two hours late because of the heat wave." Well, there ain't no heat wave. And the temperature is actually going to be going down for today, so I don't know why they like to mess with your schedule. But if you get on a schedule, you know that's that's what you need to you need to stick to it. But it is what it is. I've worked there for a long time, and the schedule's all over the place. I mean, it's just up and down, up and down. That's now you come in this time tomorrow, and this time next day you come in at this time, and then we'll come in at this time. You know, but I don't know. It's what it is, I guess. Uh, I wouldn't care to sit right here every day of my life. Get to come out here and sit in the evening and just enjoy this breeze. But like I said, this winter we're going to build a spar pit. We're going to get it all set up pretty nice down here. And we're going to start coming down here and doing some outdoor cooking and stuff like that. I think y'all will enjoy that. Uh, Got to figure out how to... I got, a, I got an aluminum coffee percolator. And uh, we we'll come down there and park a lake some coffee. I'll sit down here and talk about it. <clears throat> Grow some hot dogs. Mm. I'm gonna go fix me a chicken sandwich here in a minute. I'm starting to get hungry. I've been sitting down in here. I've been sitting down here for a while, and I finally said, you know what? I'm gonna do a video because you know I'm sitting down in here by myself. And ain't nothing else around. Ain't it's so peaceful. I love this. Okay. This will make you do stuff that you normally wouldn't do. I sure work ain't one of them. But anyway. <laughs> oh, man. I think that was about it. I think that's about all I've done on my vacation. But, man, I've enjoyed it. You don't know. It's unreal how much I've enjoyed this time off this time. And uh, it's just, it, it'll make you think. And make you think about things. It puts stuff in perspective. And uh, I'm starting to get stuff in perspective. I gotta check something out really quick here in just a minute. I just I just seen something that's kind of got my attention. But anyway, um, I'm a being <laughs> mosquitoes. I'm telling you, I, it's a trick. I'm gonna show y'all a trick here in a day or two. I'm going to come out here and show y'all this little trick to do to keep the skaters off of you. And what I'm going to do is I'll do this arm with it, and I'll leave this arm not. And we'll sit here and watch them on video, because I'm telling you, they'll get you. That almost got me. I think I missed it. But I'm going to let y'all get off here, and I thought I'd talk about a few things that I've done this week. I'm going to go back to my house before I turn into a skater. I'm going to go check something out real quick. Uh, probably do it off video because I got to go down through that brush right down through there and it's going to be hard to keep everything on and everything rolling while I'm doing it. So, I said I wasn't going to go over that hill today but I think I will now just for a little bit. 
No, I don't think I will. That ain't my peanut. I thought I seen my peanut butter jar, but that ain't what it is. Looks like a pop can. But anyway, that's Buddy Isaacs. I'm going to get up off here and I'll talk to y'all in a day or two. Y'all take care of yourself and each other. Keep an eye out of them woods. Don't look down. Look straight ahead. You never know what you might see. I walked up on a bunch of... I walked up on a bunch of deers the other day, running right up on them. They jumped up, scared me to death. I about took three trees out trying to get away from them. But this buddy Isaac, I've talked enough. Y'all take care of yourself, and I'm out.